In other video, you learn basic information about the Refugee Appeal Division or the RAD. In video 2, you learn how to file your Notice of Appeal. Now, it's time to learn how to complete your appeal. We call it Perfecting Your Appeal. Perfecting your appeal means that you complete an appellant's record. The RAD will not look at your case if you have not completed the appellant's record. Timing is very important. As soon as you submitted the notice of appeal, you need to prepare all the documents that you want to use in your appeal. You have to point out all the mistakes you think the Refugee Protection Division or RPD made when it turned down your refugee claim. Use a document called the Appellant's Memorandum to do this. If you're able to hire counsel to assist you, we recommend that you do because this part of appeal normally involves legal issues. Gathering documents. In order to perfect your appeal, you need to refer to a number of documents. To do this, you should gather the RPD Notice of Decision, the RPD Reasons and Decisions, the recording of your RPD hearing, and the appealance to assist you or with further details on this process. These documents will have been mailed to you by the RPD. If there are any other documents that you think are important for your case, then you need to get them ready when completing your memorandum, such as new evidence that was not available at the time of the RPD decision, or evidence was not accepted by the RPD and that you think was relevant to your claim. If any of your documents are not in English or French, you have to get them translated or the RAD will not look at them. You also need to get the documents and evidence that made up your RPD file. You should take some time to carefully review your documents, concentrate or where you think the RPD made mistakes. Now that you have all the documents, and have reviewed your file, you will need to prepare your appellant's memorandum. This is where you have to show where the RPD made mistakes. You also have to explain how the mistakes affected the outcome of your refugee claim. Completing your appellant memorandum. Completing your appellant's memorandum. The most important documents in the appellant's record is the appellant's memorandum. You can download the appellant's memorandum by checking the link in the description below this video or you can find on their website. Make sure you have your documents in front of you. You are now ready to fill out the appellant's memorandum form. The completed form should not be more than 30 pages long and any information that does not fit within the forms should be provided on additional paper. Let's look at the form. The first page is a cover page. You, here you need to provide your information and the information for each person appealing with you. You may leave the RAD file numbers blank if you have not received them yet. The RPD file numbers for each appealant can be found on the RPD notice of decision. The unique client identifier is also called the client ID and can be found on the RPD notice of decision. The second page is the table of contents. Don't worry about this ad for now. We will come back to it later. Later. You will find the appellant's memorandum. In section 1.1, put in your information. In section 1.2, put in the following dates. The date when you received the RPD notice of decision. The date when you received the RPD reasons and decisions and the date that you submitted your Notice of Appeal to the RA, RAD. Leave the last box blank you need to fill out on the date that you sent this package to the RAD. In Section 2.1, explain the mistakes you think the RPD made in your case. If you need more space to fill out this information, use additional paper. In Section 2.2, you need to indicate exactly where the mistakes can be found in the RPD written reasons. You have to indicate the page number, the paragraph number, and the line where each mistake can be found. 
If you think there were mistakes that happened in the RPD hearing, you need to indicate exactly where in the recording they can be found. You can use a written transcript or the recorded audio of your hearing to do this. If you're using a transcript, indicate the page, paragraph, and line where the mistake occurs. If you're using the audio, indicate the disc number, track number, start time, end time, and length or exit. In section 3.1, you may present new evidence or evidence that may not available at the time the RPD's decision. If you want the RAD to look at this evidence, you have to explain why you think the evidence is new or why it was not available at the time of your RPD hearing. In section 3.2, if you want the RAD to hold an oral hearing of your appeal, you need to explain why the RAD should hold a hearing. In section 4.1, you need to select the type of decision you're asking the RAD to make. You need to trick one of the boxes, but do not tick both. Finally, print the completed form and sign and date it. If you use counsel, be sure that they sign and date the form as well. If you have some submitted, submitted new evidence, you must also include the written statement concerning new evidence form. And if you have requested an oral hearing, you must include written statements concerning the hearing of the RAD form. Both of them forms can be found in the description below the video. Putting all your documents together. Once you have completed your appellant's memorandum, it is time to put all your documents together. Together, the documents made of your appellant's record that you will provide to the RAD. You need to be sure that your appellant's record contains printed copies of the following documents in the following order. The notice of decision and written reasons from the RPD. All of part or transcript of the RPD's hearing that is relevant to the appeal. Documents that you try to give the RPD but that the RPD refused to accept. The written statement concerning new evidence form and or the written statement concerning the hearing at the RAD form. Any documents that have new evidence or evidence that was not available at the time of the RPD decision, any additional documents like laws or legal decisions that you want the RAD to look at for your appeal. And finally, the memorandum that you just completed. Once you have placed all your documents in the correct order, number the pages consequently and place the cover page in the table of contents at the top. Then, fill in your table of contents with the page numbers that correspond with each item. Be sure to make two additional photocopies of this entire package. Keep one of the copies of your own checklist. As a final step, go over the checklist or the appellant's record to the RAD. This checklist helps you to go over many of the steps we're already talked about in this video. If you follow it, then you'll have perfected your appeal in the way it is supposed to be done. Mailing your package. You must mail or hand deliver the signed original and one copy of your perfected appeal to the RAD. The package should be sent to the office in your region. Links to the addresses for these offices can be found in the description on this video. Time limit. You should mail this package no more than 30 days after the day on which you received the written reason for the RPD decision. This is 30 calendar days, so it includes weekends and holidays. However, if the time limit ends on a weekend or a holiday, you may mail or deliver your appellant's record to the RAD on the next working day. Important information. If you need more information or help, click the link's description on this video. The appellant's memorandum and other forms. Addresses of IRB officers. The RAD appellant's guides and kit. Information how you could attend in-person session to learn more about
appealing to the RUD and other videos that can assist you in filing your appeal.